Well, Facebook fans, YouTube fans, DX Engineering, we have a great show for you today. The Manufacturer Showcase, we're welcoming Mike, WA9PIE, from Ham Radio Deluxe. Hello, Mike. How are you doing today, Tim? Doing great. Mike, lots of great things going on at Ham Radio Deluxe. Why don't you tell us all about it? Well, we, we're on a journey to do a complete modernization of Ham Radio Deluxe. And so the first, this will come in five waves. Um, the first wave arguably is taking more time than what I'd like for it to, but it's a complete rewrite of the logbook. And we're moving from it to a new database platform. So we're moving away from Microsoft Access to SQLite. Um, there are about eight or 10 new features in the software and a ton of enhancements. And um, when it's done, it will actually run on, on Mac or Linux, but what we're going to have to defer kind of the full rollout until we get the other applications written or rewritten. So we'll be rewriting rig control. And in doing that, we'll be able to modernize that and enable people to show the, the rig control application as if it looked like their radio. It's been a request. And, um, and we'll do the same thing for our digital modes application, the rotor control application and, and satellite tracking with a, with the goal of, like I said, modernizing them, making them easier to use. Um, there's a lot of software in the har har amateur radio market, as you know, and trying to get all this stuff cobbled together is sometimes uh, a little bit challenging for a lot of folks. And so we're trying to make it as easy as possible. Well, you're doing a great job, Mike. I, I, and as you just pointed out, it is a hard job to do, but you know, um, a lot of people may not be as familiar um, as uh, we think with the Ham Radio Deluxe software, but this does contact logging, rotor control, rig control, satellite, digital modes, and about how many radios do you interface with? Pretty much everything that's got a communications port on it. So anything that's got a, a you know, a, a serial connector or a, a USB port on it. There's a, our, our page has a list of the radios, but, um, and we're adding them as we upgrade the software. But pretty much anything that's got any kind of a command set, usually focused on HF radios. We don't do a lot with uh, handhelds or, you know, mobile UHF, VHF radios at all at the moment, but, uh, that, that's our digital modes program you're flipping through there. And then there's the satellite tracking app. So Ham Radio Deluxe is a suite of five applications. There's a rig control application that enables you to do pretty much anything from the screen that you would have to do from your computer, which is really helpful because as we know, radios these days have fairly complicated menus on them that sometimes getting to things is a matter of pecking through the menu several layers deep to get to things but you can put those things right on the screen if you use them often like changing filters or things of that nature so you don't have to go pecking through the screen to find them and then i think our log a log book our logging program is the best logging program in the hand market um, it's highly tailored to dxers um, for example my uh, my dxcc challenge score has gone from about 2100 to almost 2700 in about 24 months since we've introduced some some of the new features in this but um and probably i got more serious about it to be honest just because there was more capability in the logbook but it'll it'll help take you to the dx that you need to work or if you're looking for cq zones or uh, itu zones grids iotas county u.s county states Pretty much anything you're hunting, it, it can help you do that. And the upcoming version of Camarillo Deluxe Logbook will include support for POTUS, SOTA, and Worldwide Flora and Fauna as an example. But it also does awards tracking for just about every awards program on the planet. Um, includes DX Cluster, a new feature we call HRD Alert, which takes the decodes out of your, your FT8 or WSJTX program and populates them in a view that shows you what you need to work. It'll do text messages, um, audible alerts, visible alerts. Um, you know, it'll turn, in the next version, we've got a something called a blink light. It'll actually light a light on your desk 
um, to let you know that there's new new DX there that you need to work. So that's the logging program. The digital modes program does everything that uh, WSJTX doesn't do. Due to the licensing um, that WSJTX is created under, we can't commercially include that um, WSJTX, so we integrate with WSJTX. In fact, probably the majority of my QSOs these days are made using WSJTX. But if you're using RIDI or CW or PSK or you know Olivia, I mean, just about every application or every uh, digital mode that you can imagine is in this program. Uh, I've actually used it for RIDI contests and it works out pretty well. And then uh, if you scroll down to the next one, I think it's the uh, rotor control program. That actually, yeah, there you go. That's the rotor control program. Um, it controls pretty much every kind of rotor interface um, that you can imagine, both azimuth and elevation, as well as regular azimuth ones. Um, and it's this program. I mean, with, with this, it's kind of nice because if you wanted to just aim everything at Europe, you just drag your mouse over to Europe and double click and the rotor will automatically rotate. This also interfaces, of course, with all the other applications in our suite. So you could take this application, this application connects to logbook. If you find something in the DX cluster or HRD alert that you, you want to point your, your tower at or your beam at, you can just, uh, you know, click it out of logbook and it'll automatically rotate your uh, rotor to that location. And then if you scroll up to the, the previous one, that's uh, the other piece that it integrates with is the satellite tracking application, which will, um, I've actually got a couple of YouTube videos on our YouTube channel from when I was living in Australia. It's a lot of fun because when you're the DX, people start calling you, but um, you know, you, it'll track pretty much every, uh, well, it'll track every uh, satellite known to ham radio, as well as a number of others. It'll control your radio for Doppler shift. It'll control your uh, your uh, rotor for azimuth and elevation. So it makes the whole thing a lot a lot easier than you might think. I've been a ham since 1974. I think you've got me beat by two years if I remember correct, Tim. But uh, I've been a ham since 1974, and always thought doing satellites was too hard. And uh, then just a few years ago, when I started working on this. Um, it's, it's just unbelievably easy and a lot of fun. Well, you know, there's so much going on in this package, uh, Mike. I, I mean, you talk about, um, you know, all the support for all the radios. Uh, then you've got peripheral support for uh, rotators, etc. you know, taking care of the satellites. And you talk about used by more than 40,000 hams in 130 countries. Let's talk about um, support. Let's talk about uh, either on groups IO or uh, actual customer service support within uh, HRD. Yeah. So we have, um, and you, if you want, Tim, you can go to support.hamradio.deluxe.com if you want to go to that website. But um, we've got a support page, which is the uh, primary interaction with my staff. And we have a support technician in Europe. His name's Ferry PD9FVR. And we've got a support technician in Florida. That's Kevin KC7FPF. And um, it's either FPF or PFP. My dyslexia is getting to me at the moment. But um, they're available um, you know, over a broad period of time, right? Because uh, in Europe, he's up you know, five hours before the East Coast and then um, I'm usually involved in awake until fairly late. So, you know, we, we tell people that our support hours are from, you know, eight to five or six every day, but honestly, we're supporting people, you know, a lot earlier than that. And, um, also on weekends. So, um, that's the, that's one of the benefits really to buying our software is that you not only get great software, but we're there to help you if you have any questions. And frankly, the majority of the time we're helping people. It's not necessarily helping them with the software. We're helping them with configuring their radios or, you know, the rotor interface or something like that that's not directly related to the software, but they want to use the software with the radio. So we're helping them configure the baud rate in the radio or, you know, and things like that. So 
um, really helpful gr group of people. We get a lot of compliments for their help. Well, that that is great. I mean, that something that is uh, is complicated and sophisticated. Let's call it what it is, because it is a very uh, complex program. It does need great support. I, I do want to go to the chat room, Mike, here in the few minutes that we have left. Uh, Steve, uh, November Alpha 5 Charlie says, good afternoon. I've been using HRD for years. He loves it. Um, Addy, uh, Germany 6 Alpha Delta from England, he says, if you have two radios in the shack, like different brands, Elcraft and Yesu, is it easy to switch between them? Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, you can have, you know, people will ask me, how many radios can I connect simultaneously? And my answer is, how many can you afford? You know, I'm I on my desk right now. I pretty much have every Yaesu radio that's been made since 20, you know, basically 2005. I've got pretty much every Icom radio, and we've got them because we need to test them. But they're all connected, and I just switch between them by clicking on the tabs, or I change uh, between the radios and logbook. It's it's pretty easy. Um, the, the difficult part um, I find for a lot of folks is is that if you were if you went out and bought a an HP printer from Best Buy and brought it home and plugged it in to Windows and it would say, hey, I noticed you plugged in an HP laser chip, whatever. Can I configure that for you? And ham radio hardware is not that easy because there's unless you've got a flex, there aren't that many radios that you just plug in and says, oh hi, I noticed you just plugged in a FT710. Can I configure it for you? I mean, you've got to get drivers from Yesu and you've got to understand virtual COM ports a little bit. And I, I did a video on our YouTube channel about this, but we're there to help people with things like that. And um, so that, yes, you can absolutely do that. The last the last note there you had um, previous to that had to do with Atno columns in, um, in Ham Radio Deluxe uh, rig control. And there, there are definitely, I'm sorry, in, in the logbook, uh, I think you're going to be thrilled to see the Atno uh, in logbook 6.9. It's uh, available in both the alarms as well as the filters. And um, for people who, uh, you know, need new countries for their mix count, it's absolutely necessary. It also worked for CQ zones and IOTAs and grids and prefixes and all that stuff as well. Well, you know, and that's really important that you're continuing to evolve and take good customer feedback, you know, from the users that, that always, uh, I mean, I know that I like to have software that evolves and it's well tested so that I can take it with confidence, right? And not have to worry about bugs, Mike. And, uh, but, you know, that customer service availability, uh, you know, uh, through, uh, through the, the users group, as well as um, you and the folks in Europe that are supporting the uh, software. I mean, that is great. And uh, hopefully today, one of the things I wanted to, to see you accomplish, and I think you did a really good job with it, Mike, is that people that don't currently have the software and maybe are a little afraid, they shouldn't be afraid, right? No, not at all. And, you know, there, there's a number of misnomers out there about the software. I mean, one is, is that a lot of people refer to the software as a subscription. It's not a subscription. There are no annual require. There are no required annual fees. You can buy it once and use it forever. And not only can you do that, but you can buy it once, and the key will activate any future version of Ham Radio Deluxe. Now we sell new features and support as optional renewals, and we're definitely going to try to sell those. But it puts the burden on me, like you said, Tim, to come up with you know evolving software that has great new features that people actually want to buy those optional renewals. But we don't have we don't have, you know, subscriptions. Uh, we just got a lot of fantastic customers, almost fifty thousand now, and we're growing. And so we're just very happy for the people that have, you know, followed along for the journey. The la last thing I would say about that is is that to be real transparent, there was a time where um, there were I'm just going to say it this way: there were times where there were people associated with Ham Radio Deluxe that didn't cr treat customers very well. And uh, I took control of this company in 2017 and uh, with one really one goal in mind, and that was to treat people and treat our customers well. You know, it's like golden rule stuff, right? Treat people the way you want to be treated. And um, 
and that's the way we've done it since uh, since I took control of this company in 2017, and, and that's the what that's the way we're going to continue to approach it. Well, that that's great, Mike. Thanks so much for coming on today. We're going to have you on again soon to talk about even more features and things that are being developed. And uh, thank you. This is your way of giving back to the hobby that has been so good to you, to me, and to hundreds of thousands of other guys uh, around the world. So thank you, uh, Mike, for that. And if you're interested in Ham Radio Deluxe, you can go to the Ham Radio Deluxe website. You can also come to DX Engineering. We've got it in stock, and we'll ship it to you tonight. If, uh, if you want to get Ham Radio Deluxe, just come to DX Engineering. Mike, thanks so much. Thanks for that, Tim. Thanks for your partnership, and thanks all the people at DX Engineering for their support. We appreciate you guys. Right, we're proud to have you as one of our over 180 different manufacturers that we represent. That's all for this time. We'll see you tomorrow for the weekend special. Until then, 73 from DX Engineering.